women's soccer finally has a shot at the financial big time. This year's European Championships, which ended on Sunday with England beating old foe Germany, attracted unprecedented public interest. Tennis has proven the commercial viability of women's sport. Now soccer has something to aim at. In terms of fans, the sport is on a tear in Europe. The 87,000 crowd at the London final was a record for any UEFA game. More importantly, another 17 million Brits tuned in from their armchairs. That's well over half the number that watched England's men lose to Italy last year. The question is how that translates into audiences and clout with broadcasters. The English Women's Super League currently earns a pittance from TV, about £8 million a year from contracts with Sky and the BBC. The Men's English Premier League nets more than 200 times as much. The experience of tennis, though, is instructive. Revenue from the women's wing of the pro circuit is roughly three quarters of the men's. Apply that ratio to soccer, and Europe's top 20 women's sides could generate as much as 7 billion euros annually. That's clearly a very long shot, but attitudes are shifting. The top European clubs like Manchester City, Bayern Munich and Barcelona all have professional female sides. Access to better training facilities and coaches will also create a virtuous circle lifting standards and making women's soccer more attractive to watch. That should please fans, players, clubs and broadcasters alike.